Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing video. I am so excited. Adobe XD just released its latest update and it is amazing. Some new features which were much awaited and some new features which were unexpected are here in this update. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. So the first update is very simple. I'll show you right here. I will write a description for this iPhone 12. I'll write something like an amazing camera, blah, 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 blah. So the new feature is pretty evident. It is called auto text height. And here on the right in the panel, you will see three new options. A basic option called auto width, which was already existing in XD, a new feature called auto height, and another feature called fixed size. This is somewhat similar to what Figma has right now. So basically what happens is if I say auto height, it will adjust the height based on this text. So for example, I write in blah, blah, blah. I enter and I say K, 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 K. And I enter again and I say O, 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 P, O, P, O, P. As you can see, there is this red dot at the bottom. If I click on this red dot, it will basically expand the text box like this. Otherwise, you can adjust the height of this text box easily. And again, the red dot has appeared. I'll double click and the text box expands to its true size. In most cases, you would need something like auto width. But in cases where you want a custom width, you would need to say auto height. That is much better. Now, the next feature is my favorite. It is called 3D transform. This is a feature you won't get in any other design tool except for XD. So if I click on this image right here, there is a new button right here, right next to transform, which looks exactly like a cube. It's called 3D transform. If I click on 3D transform, it will give me this rotate option in the middle. Wow, this looks like a sci-fi logo. And if I rotate this on a certain angle, as you can see, it will rotate on a 3D axis. I can do the same for left and right as well. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, it's a little buggy, as you saw. Ah, see, there's a little bug. I'll keep this in the video because you want, you want to see the real deal. But except that, except a complete rotate right here with this image, I think this is fine. Of course, you can manually do it from the right. There are new values. You can even resize this and adjust this like this. Wow, this looks amazing. I'm not sure how much we can use this in our day-to-day -day life, but this will make 3D transform so much easier. If I create a group out of this text and the image, Command G or Control G to create a group, I can do the same thing with the entire group. So no matter what element it is, it could be an image, it could be a box, it could be text, anything you can rotate on a X, Y and Z axis now, which is amazing. The third feature is very useful. It's called nested components. Earlier, what we used to do was to create a component like this card right here, I'd say Command K or Control K on the keyboard. This will create a component. Simple as that. Now, what if I want to put a component inside another component? So I make a rectangle right here. Now, there are two components, this card on top and this background color right here. It could be anything else as well. So to paste a component inside another component, I will go ahead, cut this component out, double click inside this backdrop component and say Command V or Control V to paste it back in. As you can see, there is a little prompt at the bottom which says main, main component was pasted as an instance. If you want to learn more in detail, you can always click here. What this means is that this is now a child component of this main parent component. You can basically change the inner component separately and adjust the outside component separately. How cool is that? Now, the other feature allows you to create design systems inside Adobe XD, very similar to what you would find on Sketch or Figma right now. It's very simple. If I go to the file option right here, or if you go to the menu in Windows, you will find a feature called Manage Libraries. Inside libraries, you will be allowed to create a new library. So I can call this library Puneet's Design System. 
Once that is done, if you go to this libraries option on the bottom left, you will get the option to access any library components on the left. So anytime you add a character style to assets or color to assets, everything will appear in the components and this will be accessible by your entire team. Des creating a design system is so much simpler and easier. The next thing is that co-editing is no longer in beta. They have polished it, finalized it, made it less laggier so it will be much smoother and you can invite your teammates to edit this document with you. Another feature that I missed out is the ability to export all your design tokens and everything to Microsoft Visual Studio Code. So if you use Visual Studio Code, Adobe XD is going to be your best friend from now on. Again, if you want to read this entire article, if you're a reader, if you like reading, I will have a link in the description to read the entire Adobe XD blog as well. If you like this video, make sure you click the thumbs up button. If Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It is completely free. I will see you every Monday and Thursday, same time. God bless.